Hello lads, today I wanted to share with you one of my favorite budget, semi-budget friendly builds for the Mists. This build is purely for PvE farming and PvE ratting. It is so that you can escape gankers, but also it's so that you can farm, mostly farm might for favor, so you can get siphon energy and get your monthly reward. This build is actually two different weapons that you will be carrying at the same time and swapping between them depending on the situation. First, uh, let me zone into the next area and then I will find a mist once my invisibility wears off. And uh, what I'm wearing right now is I am wearing a double bladed staff, okay? But that's not the weapon I'm going to farm with because obviously that's a horrible weapon to farm with. Everyone knows this. So let me show you the build while we look for a mist. Okay, as you travel around, you're going to be having a double bladed staff with Cartwheel, stun run so you can run away, and soaring swipe, of course. I just have the stun on. There's a wisp. I would like to get a little bit further away from civilization, though, so that I can partake in it. You're going to be using the royal jacket with the royal banner. You're going to be using assassin hood with meditation. And scholar sandals with focused run. This is so you can't be stunned, slowed, or rooted. It's uh, currently the meta right now to stun and root people, so this completely counters all that. And uh, I'm using an ox for the armor. This thing will only have 900 HP in the mists instead of 1,600, but it will have the 233 armor. It's like I'm wearing plate armor. And then, of course, pork omelet for the food. I'm using a cheap tier 2 potion and bag. Now, as I travel around, if I get dismounted for any reason or slowed or whatever, um, again, this set only costs, it's 74k uh, for what I'm wearing and then another 30k for the weapon. Now, for Spiked Gauntlet, you do want at least a 5.1, and you at least want 100 spec into just the Spiked Gauntlet. You don't need to spec up the entire weapon line. If you do, it just makes it easier. However, you don't need it, but I would recommend 5.1 and then maximum spec so that you can two-shot most of the mobs in commons that aren't enchanted. But if they are, it's pretty easy to just auto-attack them down. You can also get fancy and buy a cape, but I'm cheap. I didn't even buy a cape because uh, I, there's no need for me to buy a cape. Oh, there is, uh, that's a, I didn't see his nameplate. Wow, that person just, like, popped up. He's gathering, though. He's not gonna bother, he's not gonna bother me. I'm just looking for a mist. I'm just out here, you know, perusing for mists. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit when I find one. Oh, look at that. It was literally when I stopped, when I pushed stop record. Of course. Now I have to edit this. <laughs> Great. Cool. So, that's gonna, uh, add about two hours to my day. <laughs> Woohoo! Being a YouTuber, right? Okay, first thing you do is, as soon as you enter the mist, always mount up. Always, always, always keep that. Keep that double-bladed staff on, and we're going to go to the nearest... Where am I on the map? I'm over here in the corner. We're going to ride around, and we're going to free these little guys. And let me show you how fast we can free these guys, right? Uh, now, right now, I'm waiting on my cooldowns. That's fine. But we can weapon swap, and we have immediate off cooldown. Swap back. We're done. All right, and that's basically how we're going to play this. Don't keep your inventory open, because then it, you can't see nameplates. But there we go. We can farm rep. And uh, it is um, going to the, the double-bladed staff which is intentioned. You should always equip the weapon you want whenever you free the wisp so that the fame goes to that weapon. Uh, but other than that, um, you could also bring like a third weapon if you're trying to fame it up if you want to be cheap and not use combat fame credits. Other than that, I keep the double bladed on in case I get dismount, attacked, or jumped unexpectedly. You never know when someone's going to go into viz by listening to your footsteps and then just absolutely, you know, try something crazy. But here's another mob, okay? So we're going to switch back and then punch him again. And remember, I have an armor ability that lowers the cooldown. We're going to talk about that later. I'm going to go ahead and summon my mount, get it nice and close. And just another tip for the mists. Uh, I'm going to be on the mount here. You know, inspect people, see what they're doing. Like, this guy's a uh, Fist of Avalon. Like, I can just run from him, no big deal. So he's, he's really a non-threat. So if you want to make your mount sounds invisible to you so you can hear other players... Uh, rapidly left click your mount and then dismount, you'll remount instantly, and now there's no footsteps. And this allows you to hear other players fighting mobs or running on their mounts without you hearing your own mount and making it harder to be perceptive. This might be fixed in the future, I'm sure. But anyway, just a quick tip for you. So, um, as we ride around, like, I could farm, like, that mob there. Is that a glowing mob? It could be. If I wanted to farm that mob, I could switch to my spike on, let farm him up if I wanted to. I'm going to this top little area here because that looks like a, a smaller little dungeony area, which we are going to be able to clear it pretty damn quick. So let's just get near it. There we are. And because we're on an ox, 
we can do something really cool. We can pull a bunch of mobs at once without being dismounted by the mobs. So I can I can pull all these guys, right? I can just pull all of them. It's not a big deal. The the mount takes a little bit of damage, and then I can punch them all, and then use my W two ability, and then I can reset my cooldowns here. And look at that! It's already back up, and I could farm more mobs immediately. So I can I can do two back to back big boy pulls here, and just nuke them down. And then at this point, I'm gonna set on my double bladed staff because here comes a player. Look at this guy. He's gonna he might run through the mobs. He's kind of running around here. Let's get a good inspect on Sakura. He is a, a one-handed axe user, and he's probably farming this area. We don't have to back down. We don't have to run away. We got another guy coming here though. He is actually running away from us, so I'm gonna ignore him. There must be, is there a, yeah, there's a, a stone on the map, so they might be running towards that. Okay, I hear footsteps. No, oh, that's me. Okay, cool. Switching back to the spike gauntlet so we can farm more mobs. And you can do this slowly, or you can do this quickly. It's up to you. It's whatever you want to do. For me, I'm just going to kill these two dudes, and uh, guess what? I can, you know, get my cooldowns back immediately, so let's pop that. Got my cooldowns going, and by the time I dismount for another kill, like on these dudes... Yeah, let's pull let's pull all these guys here and we again we have the correct mount for this this uh this type of farm and punch and kick and and double q punch him switch back to that and uh, there you go so you can see that we've almost completed the quest and we, we we're basically a double bladed staff because as soon as you kill the last mob you're out of combat you can immediately switch and there you go very very cool right and uh, of course i can get my cooldowns back so i can Pretty much kill these things really really fast as well so oh there's a glowing mob so we're gonna we're gonna punch we're gonna kick we're gonna dodge dodge again i'm gonna just get my cooldowns back because why not just kind of run out of there i can kick them again i can punch them again and we cleared that way faster than if we didn't have cooldowns also the boots double as a mana battery so there we go quest completed let's see what we got switch back to that and you can see here that just for clearing this camp, we got 1,490 rep, 17,000 fame. You can also get it to 99%, swap to the weapon you want to fame up, and then kill the last mob, and it'll all go to that weapon. So that's a cool little thing. But we're just, I'm, I'm honestly just doing this for the might, so that I can complete the Conqueror's Challenge here, get these uh, nice little favor points, and eventually get this chest, which, for those that don't know, this chest can contain a baby mammoth. So that is just an insane amount of money. And, you know, you could get lucky, could not. You can also use this set to um, rapidly kill mobs. Um, you don't have to do it in the camps. Like, right now, there's a crystal spiderling down there. We can we can hit that spiderling with, with two punches, two Ws, four Qs before anyone shows up. And if they do, we just mount up, run out of combat, because if we don't kill the spider, we'll be stuck in combat. And by the time they get their cooldowns from dismounting on me, uh, then I will... I will, I will basically be gone. Alright, so closing my inventory so I can see around me. And yes, this does require a lot of micro. <laughs> okay, you're going to be opening and closing your inventory a whole bunch. Right? So I've got, like, what, seven, six seconds left on the punch here. Uh, so in this case, I'm just going to pop that, and it's going to go a little bit faster. It's fine. And then I can actually get this back off cooldown immediately with my helmet. There we go. We're ready to punch again if necessary. But, you know, it's not like I'm... I only use the cooldown reduction for camps. That's the only time I do it. So we're going to swap back to that. And you don't have to swap as much as I am because I'm, I'm playing a hyper paranoia mode. Okay? You don't have to do that. You could technically just, you know, have the gloves on. And if you see a player, then immediately swap to your, your double bladed. A lot of players are going to inspect you. They're going to see this. And they're going to see this and this and this. And they're going to be like, nah, that's too much trouble. I'm never going to catch that dude. I will never catch him. I also, I forgot to eat my pork omelet. And let's switch to our gloves here. Which, now, I, I want to mention, if you swap weapons while dismounted, look at that. It, it admits the, the global cooldown, but if you're on your mount, it doesn't. That's a that's a little fun glitch for you. Let me show you what I mean. Okay, so we gotta wait. We're gonna wait for these to go off cooldown, right? If I mount up, I dismount, I can punch immediately, right? If I swap to this and dismount, I can jump immediately. Isn't that cool? I think that's pretty cool. Oops, I did it again. <laughs> you get the point, though. Don't swap weapons off your mount make sure you're on your mount before you do the weapon swappy swap okay and so we can farm this pretty darn easy i'm going to go ahead and eat the what was that the uh, omelet let's go ahead and get these guys all nice and punched up here 
Go ahead and hop on the mount, dodge that. Remember, the mount is, a, is like an extra chunk of health, okay? So I gotta fight this guy manually, I can punch him, punch him there, do some kicks. And there we go. We got, a, we got our main E spell back off cooldown, so I'm gonna go punch some more mobs. We'll punch these two, hit them with a Q, hit them with a Q. I'm gonna wait on my cooldowns before I remount, hit that R, and this works while you're mounted. This is lowering my cooldown rate while I'm mounted. It's really, really cool like that. Go ahead and hit those, punch this dude, see? And now I can reduce my cooldowns once again, get that get that E back. I'm low on mana, so I'm just gonna, ch I'm gonna waste my boot method here, my boot ability, get that mana back. You could also just run really cheap mana potions if you're really, really impatient. But this is just the fastest way to clear camps and escape gankers. Because gankers, what they'll do is they'll hear you fighting. And then they will just roll up with... They, they will initiate. They'll use their boots and their movement speed to initiate you. And if they root you, well, guess what? Your boots save you. Uh, if you have this bad boy equipped or switch to it before you get attacked by an enemy player, you're, you get a free escape every single time. See, here's a player. I'm going to mount up, switch, switch to that. He can't do nothing. He... He can't do nothing. There's nothing he can do. He can, he can farm the mobs, but he's going to see me and he's going to be like, I don't know, man. I don't know about this guy, man. Oh, claw user. Okay. Well, guess what? Our boots counter claws because <laughs> it, it counts as a, as a root, right? And and so these guys won't even bother. Like, they look at my gear and they're like, ew. Because like, right now I only have 70k equipped, like, in total. They don't care about that. And now the players are gone, right? So we can switch this, jump down, beat them up, switch back on. And, oh no, I'm being invis ganked. I just switched to my double-bladed step. I'm completely safe. And and yeah, this um, it's kind of a, it's annoying to clear this way, but it's safer. You won't die this way. You you just won't die. You are not going to be killed doing this. I don't know a build that counters this, right? You'd be like, well, they could purge your boots. Okay, you have cooldown reduction. You'll have your boots back up. Use your use your R spell and uh, jump away with your double-bladed. And here's the thing too, as Spike Gauntlet, it's not entirely immobile. You have a slide, and you have a, a, like a jumpy uh, Mortal Kombat kick. Look at that, that thing moves you around. That thing makes you mobile as heck. So even if you are caught without your double-bladed staff, you're still able to escape most gankers. And because you have the cooldown reduction to do so, you can spam those abilities, no problem. It's, it, this, this is just great. It's the most passive, like timid way to play the mists, sure. I mean, I'm not going to say that it's not, because it literally is. That's the whole point of the build, is so that you can farm this content without needing tier 8.3 gear. You can farm this content without worrying about dying to mobs. So you can. I'm just going to punch him again. Like, I don't need to wait. I don't you need to use my other abilities. I can just punch him. He's dead. Screw him. All right. Oh, here comes a player. And we can cancel our channel, switch to that, and there we go. Look at him. What's he doing? Little now this guy's gonna this guy would he's already dismounting, so he's gonna try to kill me. There's no he can't catch me. There's nothing he can do. I'm on an ox. Okay, he's a bear paw player, so. Oh no, I'm running through mobs. Help me, I'm slow. Oh no, oh no. See, see now here's the thing, right? He dismounted over here on this side. I'm gonna run down to this side and farm mobs there. He he can he might just be here to farm mobs. Oh no, no, see, look, he's <laughs> He's chasing me. Oh, no. Like, he, he's got, like, a million worth of stuff on him. I've got 70k. Is it really... He, like, he's not... He's gonna be like, nah. Dude, this... this like, he saw this? He's like... He just he just buzzed off. Because he knows he can't catch it. Right? Maybe he saw me with this on, with, with, my, with my gloves. That's fine. Look at this. I cleared the mob. I'm back on my mount, and I'm safe once again. If he, if he dismounted and did, like, a double invisibility meme to try to get me, it's totally fine, because I've got the double-bladed staff on. He can't catch me. I'm just gonna jump away and then and then dash. It's fine. It's totally fine. I want to pull all three of these, but because that guy's kind of hovering around, I'll just do the two. I'll just I'll just do him. Just do that. Kick him a little bit. There we go. And it's that easy. I don't want to wait 13 seconds, so I've got a helmet that's gonna make that zero in just a sec here. So we're gonna knock that down to zero and punch and slide punch. There you go. Simple, isn't it? It's, it's so simple. It's re it's really beautiful. Also, melees, you can just kite them around on your mount indefinitely until you get your cooldowns back, by the way. Like, I just need to wait maybe like five more seconds. I'll have my E back. And there it is. And there you go. Easy farming, man. That That's how you do it. Oh, and I can, I can you know, I can boost this up. If I stay dismounted, I could pop my, my R. Uh, let's pop 
let's pop boots first, get that mana back. It's totally fine. We've already got our E back. I don't need to use my, my helmet or armor. And look, look, here's the cool thing. Too. There's a Turbulent Mist right over there. Guess what's a real... Well, get, this is a really good build for Turbulent Mists. And yes, I know I'm about to complete that, and it's really stupid to leave it now, but here's the cool thing about Turbulent Mist. Unless one of these guys greatly outgears me, I can just grab the orb and run, and they can't catch me. And, and I'm only risking 100,000. I'm only risking 100,000? Here's the cool thing. If I turn in one of those orbs, I make 100,000. It's the it's the Bear Paul's guy. Of course it is. And, uh, oh, is he going to fight? Le Melon? Le Melon? The blood letter guy. Look, these guys can't catch me. I can literally outrun them. What, what else? Who else is entering the fray? Another axe user. Okay, so what's going to happen is... Oh. No. Okay, let's go. Oh, he, he's going. Oh, he... Oh, oh. Here. It's by now. Oh, he grabbed it. What the fuck? Did you... I clicked on it. I clicked on it and I clicked yes and he grabbed it. Now we're just going to escort him. Because I the thing is, I can't kill him in my build. Oh, what do we got? X guy? Is he going to make a move? Here's the thing. Here's the thing, too. I could try to make a move. Like, I could use stun run on him or something stupid. Maybe stun him a bit. See if he gets, like, aggro on these mobs here. Something. There's a lot you can really do. <laughs> but but it, this is how it turns out. The first guy to grab the orb, everyone just kind of follows him. They don't dismount to actually fight. Like, I can't hurt him, technically. I could stun him. <laughs> This guy knows me, he's like, Swole. Hello. Hello, you made it in the video, Drevin... Drevin Neat Dosif. He's just gonna follow me around. I, I wanna complete this damn camp, damn it. Go away. But yeah, um, I tried to grab it first, but that other guy was a faster clicker. And, uh, yeah, so there you go. Alright. Nameplates are still on screen. I'm just chilling. I'm just chilling. This guy, this guy is, see, here's the thing. Here's the thing about being a YouTuber. My name plate isn't hidden. One day it will be. <laughs> Wins new video. I already put one out like 10 minutes ago, dude. I, I'm muted. I can't reply to him. Oh, I'm not being rude, guys. But, um. <laughs> see, I want to blow that mob up. I could double cooldown dip and destroy that thing. This dude is hovering around me. And he's only hovering around me because I'm a YouTuber. So, until they hide the freaking names, you can't do this. I could dismount him and then run away with my my double bladed, but uh, yeah. So he's just gonna follow me around the rest of the video. Uh, this is why I tend to finish these before going off. Uh, but anyway, so we know there's an enchanted mob on that side here. Let's let's kill let's kill these mobs really really quick before that dude rolls back up on us again. And uh, there we go. So uh, you know we got three more minutes to do this. It's not a big deal. And I really want that enchanted mob on the other side, but I'm probably not going to get it. And that's just how it is. Let's grab these melee dudes. They're pretty cool. I'm in my double bladed. My bad. So I, I actually have to... I can't fight them in this. And if I get caught out, I'm... I'm oh, uh, that's a huge mistake. Don't forget to swap your weapons out, man. I don't have a... I, I have my shitty healing potions, but there we go. Let's just exit combat. Summon our mounts immediately. I forgot to switch to my gauntlets. Cause, um, you saw that, right? I hit my E spell. Oops, had the wrong weapon out. Don't do that. Don't have the wrong weapon out. That's bad. You don't want that to happen. That could kill you. That could get you killed. If that guy was still hovering over me, apparently he does watch my videos. I don't know, maybe. But, uh, <laughs> we we're at, like, 99%. Maybe. Like, I wish it showed, uh, 25 out of 26. So if I, if I kill this guy, that'll put me a little bit closer. And then I could kill the last mob with double bladed if I want. Or nah. I, I, I don't care. I don't need to level double bladed, but it's just an example, right? Like if you wanted to. Let's uppercut that dude. I don't want to get frosted. It's fine. Uh, because we can do that. Oh, tier 7 plate. What the heck? That's cool. So that's half our kit right there. We just made... Also, we completed the objective. And look how much we got for it. Uh, we got, I think, I don't think my combat log is scrolling correctly. 776 might, uh, we got 4k rep, 48,000 fame, so there you go. And, uh, I got a minute left to find and exit, or I could farm the mobs, but you, this, that's the video, guys. It's, um, it's a real timid and very, you know, it's just a timid way to play, but at the same time, you're not gonna die. And you can contest the damn little glowy orbs, but I didn't click fast enough. 
Because if I would have grabbed it, I don't think anyone would have... I'm going to get shot by that. These dang mobs, go away. Let me just de-aggro them so I can get back in that portal there. See, let's just pe peek, you know? You just peek what's on the next screen. Yeah, uh, if I grab that orb, none of them people could have caught up with me. Because I had, I had, I have all cooldown reduction and the best movement speed in the game. Here's one. Holy crap, am I close? Where am I at on the map? I am all the way on the other side, so I'm going to go for this. Oh, someone picked it up. Dang. But, uh, you know, I could always ride near it and see if there's any kind of chaos. Something, okay, a lot of times when I see that on the map, when I just zone in, it's usually bugged. Like, uh, you pick it up, and then the portal you need to turn it into just doesn't exist, or it's not labeled correctly on the map. But, you know, let's ride by and see what's going on. Maybe people are killing each other. This is a great ratting build. This, this, this build is so fast, you can run in, loot someone, and then run out. Because of all your cooldown reduction. You're not going to get bursted down. Um, even Like, this, this build has survived an 8.4 curse staff player. There he is. What's it? Little tier 8 guy, he's just running around. Let's see if he fights me, if I dismount near him. Let's see if he fights me. No? Let's see if he even attacks me. No? He's not, he's not gonna do nothing. Now, I, obviously I, <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> obviously I can't kill him. I, there's no way to kill him with my kit. But if he runs through a bunch of mobs or something, I could stun him in the mobs, and they can they can do a little work on him. But uh, it doesn't look like anything's really gonna happen here. Oh, he, look at that! Look at him! Look at him go! <laughs> That's fine. I've got the cooldowns, man. See, see, I I planned for that. See, I can just dip. I'm not even in combat. <laughs> Oh, you see him pop his his poison, man. That's like some anime shit. That's uh, <laughs> he just chased me away. Uh, and, and you could be like, well, if you had a real kit, you could have just killed them. Yeah, if I was in my curse staff build, I could have just killed them. But how often do you see a guy transporting an orb solo? Okay, never. Like this is the first time I've ever seen a dude just get an orb completely by himself. Went from all the way over here to all all the way over here too. What a what a wild guy, man. <laughs> See, everyone recognizes me. It's no fun, man. Take away my name. I can't play the mists on this cat, on this character, or in this alliance, <laughs> or <laughs> in this guild. Uh, I get recognized way too often. Maybe I can troll some people doing the spiraling, or if no one's doing the spiraling, I can double cooldown reduction and burst it down because, you know, we can punch, we can double punch it for like seventeen hundred, double kick it for another seven hundred. You know, that's like half its HP right there. Now he's gonna go do it. He's got his little one-handed act. Oh, we got another contender here. Bow of Warbow. Yes, Warbow users. Let's see what's going on with the spider. <laughs> Sometimes, it, even if you're not doing anything, it's fun to just kind of ride around and see what other people are doing because you know that they don't have a big clan backing them up. You're not gonna get mobbed by ten clannies, you know. Oh, oh. So, these guys have damaged mounts. What is this one doing? We could dismount this guy for fun. We could. We could totally dismount him, I believe. Uh, let's, you want to try it? I'm kind of wanting to try it here. See, let, let, let's see. Let's see what happens. I don't know if I can... Uh, unless he gets hit by a mob. I can't, oh, he did get hit by a mob. <laughs> uh... I could. I'm gonna. Ha I would have to use my jump here and then cooldown reduction just to catch up to him. Oh, he dismounted! Look at that. Or he was dismounted. I'm not gonna fight him though. This is not a build for fighting. I have no spec in this. I have no demon cape to dump lava under him. There's just no point. But yeah. Um, <laughs> the, uh, again, guys. So for those that don't understand the point, the point is that you use a spike gauntlet cooldown reduction build so you can spam the E to kill mobs incredibly fast. And then you swap to your double bladed so you can escape in case someone suddenly jumps you while doing uh, these these camps. That's the whole point of the build. That's the whole point of the video. Um, because they did make it where it takes way longer. You have to clear way more of this camp before you can even get credit for it. But it is a decent source of, um, of might. So is turning in the orbs. And the double bladed and the cooldown reduction is your best friend for those orbs. Assuming you get to grab it before someone dismounts on you and tries to burst you down, you can usually escape. Like, it's just crazy. It's just, it's super good. So, anyway, that's the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. 
It's it's a silly build. How often do you see video build guides that tell you to bring two weapons? Um, this one does because it's that useful. People inspect you and they see the double blade and they're like, man, I want to kill you, but you're just too mobile. You're just too agile, dude. I'll never catch you. Never. Especially with, with the royal jacket and the, and the damn assassin hood to get all your cooldowns back super duper quick. With that said, videos every day on this channel, guys. You know the drill. I read every comment. Make sure you like the video and subscribe so you don't miss tomorrow's video. It'll be a good one. You know it will. Uh, also, uh, if you want to join the Discord, play games with me. Uh, maybe if you want to um, do some group dungeons or something. Link is in the description. Join that Discord. Let's go. Let's get more people, man. Uh, you would think as a YouTuber my size, I'd have people to play with. I, I don't. <laughs> I have like 30 people in the Discord. That's it. It's like 30. And most of them don't play. They don't play Albion. <laughs> uh, anyway. Uh, if you want to support, click the join button. It's like, it's like being on Twitch where you subscribe for five bucks a month, except it's on YouTube. It's called channel memberships. In the pinned comment is a playlist of, uh, videos that only members can watch. So there's a lot of private, more personal stuff if you want to get to know me better. But there's also useful things like exploits and things that are just too good in this game that I would not dare show to the public. So it, you, you can see the videos in the playlist. If one of those interests you, maybe think about becoming a channel member. With that said, guys, uh, I will see you in tomorrow's video. On the right side of the screen is a video that you should absolutely click right now. It is hand-selected by Google just for you. Make sure you're subscribed, though, before you click it so you don't miss tomorrow's video, and take care. Mwah.